Thank you for joining me, ladies and gentlemen, on my first episode of Luxury on Review. Luxury on Review, I'll be showcasing, unboxing, and exploring some of the very best of luxury goods that the luxury industry has on offer. Um, we'll, in addition, go behind the scenes of the businesses that research, develop, market and produce these incredible goods so i hope you'll enjoy and even know when you've got your next shopping spree or you think of purchasing a particular good that you'll taste and try some of these goods and see how they perform in terms of their functionality and also how they make you feel in terms of your consumer experiences. So I look forward to a lot of your comments on that. Today, um, I want to start with what's really more of a premium brand than a luxury good, but they could easily, I think, uh, become a significant luxury brand in South Africa. And that's Trent and Miller, which is, um, I guess, boutique, menswear um, store, men's, rather men's footwear store that is owned by the Cape Union company and really I purchased first, really it was in one day, I purchased the um, Arthur Jack Cruise leather loafer and then I also purchased the Arthur Jack Ashton leather thong sandal and then additionally the Arthur Jack shoe care travel kit which is rather like lovely and mm, as someone who doesn't like bulky wallets I also purchased on the same day the leather um, card holder. So ladies and gentlemen, we'll go directly into the review of the product now. So I've been wearing the Arthur J Trent and Miller's Arthur Jack Cruise leather loafer since, wow, is it February, March of 2018? So I've had a really long time to try this <laughs> um, incredible shoe out. It's been over almost a year and six months now and what I'll say about this shoe is that one it's got this incredible I'll say lovely delightful rustic um, artisanal craftsman to it it's not uh, overbearingly premium or luxury but the comfort of the shoe is incredible and as much as I love footwear, men's footwear it can sometimes get rather uncomfortable especially as your day goes through but you will never go wrong with Tread and Miller's Arthur, um, Arthur Jack Cruise Loafer and what's really great about the shoe is that it's versatile you may wear it for example with your more casual to semi-casual um, looks, outfits and then you can even pair it with your more formal wear so for example I've got a lovely sort of tweed, a tan brown tweed suit, double breasted suit and this shoe goes incredibly well with it even with my uh, more darker blue to navy blue and midnight blue suits this tan Arthur Jack cruise loafer goes incredibly well with it it's got this sort of it's maybe ripped um, rubber undersole to it which I think really gives it a lot of its comfort that you experience while wearing it and then inside, it's again leather sold inside, so really lovely. It minimizes the amount of sweat um, 
that one experiences and just to aid know with the minimization of the sweat that you experience while wearing uh, the loafer is I love to wear these uh, refinery um, sort of mauve, light mauve secret socks and what's great about that they don't appear at all they're just secret enough uh, that they don't you know, peek through at the top of the shoe so all in all great 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 shoe um, I would give it an easy 8 out of 10 rating for comfort and design and I'm actually very soon going to go into Trinidad Miller's one of its stores who knows probably the Cape Town uh, Canal Walk one and I'm hoping to get another pair um, as a backup for when these are done and worn out so we'll see what happens with that and then moving on um, interesting thing about this is that I actually haven't worn the sandal in the year and a half since I bought um, since I bought these these goods from Trinidad Miller the reason really is that I had intended that soon after buying these um, the shoes and these other leather goods is that I would actually record this video but life happens and I'm only recording it in 2019 um, but for a very really long time I mean for years now I've been looking for good quality uh, good craft well crafted leather thonged sandals I'm not a fan of your sort of bulkier sandals I don't like the fact they leave um, sort of large tan marks over your foot and they also tend to make your foot a lot more sweaty I wanted thong sandals as I sometimes call them Jesus sandals and after Jack on the day I only intended to really go and buy the loafer and no, as I was about to go and pay for my purchase, I saw this and I mean it wasn't even a debate, I just simply had to buy them. And at the time these were going for 600 Rand, which is reasonable, exceptionally reasonable in fact, for a premium leather crafted um, thumb sandal. And you'll see here that is what I really like about them, unlike a lot of sandals, especially your bulkier variety, they are quite bendy. So, and the fact that they've got these sort of grooved uh, sole, rubber sole to it, one, you won't slip, especially in sort of more, uh, less, sort of more smooth surfaces, but shoe tends it's clear that the shoe will tend to grip one because of the rivets and two because of the rubber sole and they will also sort of um, mold to the terrain that you're walking on so these are really great, great for the beach, great for outwards or even sort of your semi-formal wear um, very versatile and I look forward to wearing these um, just as a what should I call it as a notification uh, later on in the week I'll be posting a video where I'll go through a variety of looks that you can pay uh, and match both the Trident Miller Arthur Jack Cruise Loafer and the Trident Miller Ashton Leather Thong excuse me sandal um, I really look forward to that, it should be a hell of a lot of fun. Um, so let's go ahead and look at, I mean, at the, at the leather card holder. As I said in the opening of the video, I am really not a fan of a lot of wallets, especially bulky wallets, because you want to, at least for me, I want my wallet to be pretty much imperceptible 
um, if it's in my pocket, in particular my back pocket, and your run-of-the-mill wallet tends to be very bulky, especially once you start to introduce you know, more than four, five cards. And what's really good about Trent and Miller's um, Arthur Jack um, leather card holder is that it holds a minimum of 10 cards. I've got 10 cards at the moment in this um, card holder. And I can still, in its sort of midsection, I can still put, give or take, a couple of hundreds of rands in this uh, card holder. Definitely can't put coins, of course, that's needless to say. But I tend to not put, um, I tend not to carry uh, a great deal of cash on me. I prefer to carry maybe a hundred rand in this card holder. And then a lot of my purchases are just done through uh, swiping at a pay point. So, really good purchase. If I'm not mistaken, this was either 300 or 400 Rand between those two numbers, uh, which is reasonable for a premium brand such as uh, Trey and Miller. And then, you know, leather is quite durable, but you need to take care of it. It's going to last a long time. And interesting with the sandal is that because it was in storage and the new apartment that I've just moved into, I've downsized into, uh, earlier in the year had a sort of a mold development problem with the apartment. And so I think on, earlier in the week when I opened this the box for uh, Trader Miller's Arthur Jack uh, Ashton leather thonged sandal is that it was riddled with mold, especially at the edges. And I was worried that I wouldn't be able to do the video because the leather would be ruined, but it turns out it wasn't. So I successfully restored and polished the sandals with Arthur Jack's um, shoe key. Trader Miller's Arthur Jack Shoe Cake Kit. This Shoe Cake Kit includes, well, before I say what it includes, I bought it for 500 Rand, it was 4.99. I think it's a, actually no, I'm convinced it's really on the expensive side. I'm not, I'm not convinced that the price is justified by what I get. I mean, I don't, don't believe that any Shoe Cake Kit would justify 500 Rand. It should be, 200 rand at most and inside here one is made of very very supple leather a uh, robust um, zip sometimes you know some of these leather goods the zips can be quite flimsy um, and then immediately when you open it the first thing you get is a buffer brush this was very instrumental in getting rid of well, after getting rid of the mold, polishing and restoring the leather to its uh, brand new condition. And if I'm not mistaken, this might be made from horse hair, which is really the best kind of buffer brush for your leather goods that you want, your leather and suede goods that you want. And then it's got this polishing cloth when you're applying um, the leather polish, the leather shoe polish, I prefer to actually use the buffer brush and then you sort of let the polish sit into the leather as long as you know, suitable until it's dry and then what I do is that I then buff the shoes again and then sort of shine them out with this um, sort of felt uh, cloth very very handy and lastly at the very bottom of the kit you get two what they call uh, renovating leather polish uh, tins first is your black uh, polish 
obviously really the granddaddy of leather goods and particularly leather shoes because you know your black leather shoe is your basic foundation of any man's uh, wardrobe and footwear collection and then you get your transparent um, polish uh, can and that will go for pretty much any kind of leather tan so from your lighter like this one to your more burgundy and deeper browns um, so it's a great shoe cake kit but the 500 rand sorry Trader Miller mm -mm, not justified nonetheless I would still purchase it I don't regret it at all <coughs> so sorry so ladies and gentlemen um, that's it for my unboxing of my purchases at Trader Miller's boutique footwear store and my enjoyment in particular of the Arthur Jack Cruise loafer has been incredible. I look forward to testing this out. I'll be going to the beach actually this coming week and I'm going to be wearing these with my uh, shorts and we'll see how that turns out. I'll be giving you feedback later in the week with that uh, sort of uh, styling video what to style these shoes with and yeah that's it so ladies and gentlemen see you next time in the next episode of luxury and review and i look forward to your comments and thoughts below especially your suggestions on what you think i should style the uh, trader miller arthur jack uh, cruise lo leather loafers with and of course the Trader Miller Arthur Jack Ashton leather thonged sandals. Enjoy.